Your Houston Morning News with Matt Patrick continues. KTRH News Time is 7.15. Joining me right now, uh, Chris Tritico, legal expert, also... Quan Alex, Minister of the New Black Panthers. Gentlemen, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Quan L, let me start with you. Uh, the bo- You and I have talked about this already, so I know how you feel about it. The bounty on the head of George Zimmerman. You don't like that idea so much, but you also said that if they don't do justice, and apparently you're now setting yourself up as judge and jury, if they don't do justice in this case, that uh, some real bad things could happen, or you don't want to even imagine what could happen. What do you mean by that? When you look at the spirit that's pre- that's prevalent in America right now in dealing with racism between the races. You have a lot of millions of young African Americans who are just angry and outraged by the Trayvon Martin shooting. Then several days ago, we witnessed where the Sanford Police Department began to leak information about Trayvon Martin to attempt to character assassinate and slander this young man's name even in death. When the information that was released from the school as well as the Sanford Police Department is about a juvenile, and nobody releases juveniles' information. Like what that. makes you wait? Well, what what makes you think the police are releasing this information, Quanell? What happens is is that folks like yourself and the Sheila Jackson Lees and the others they take this information and you begin to start speaking uh, as though you've got all the facts. You don't know anything more than anybody else. Well, Matt, you have to understand some of the information that was released would only come directly from someone involved directly in the investigation, and that is the Sanford Police Department. Let me ask uh, Chris Tritico if you can weigh in on this. I, I mean, is it fair to say, what, is what Quanell is suggesting, is that fair that this information is being leaked by the police department and the school, I, what, to fuel more uh, racial unrest? I don't, I don't I don't, think there's any evidence to indicate that any government officials released anything. You know, and in cases uh, like when I represented Timothy McVeigh, the jurors were secret. The names of the jurors were secret. Before the trial ended, the media knew everyone's name, address, and phone number of all the jurors. Well, nobody gave that out. They just did some good, solid investigative reporting and figured it out. And there's a lot of people that know the information that's being released that is not a, that are not government officials. And so I don't think it's fair to say that we know the government is releasing this. Now, look, if the government released it, shame on them. But shame on the new Black Panthers for 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 releasing this this bounty and and stepping this up to a to a level that we shouldn't be dealing with. Quanell, why aren't you standing up and saying just as much about black-on-black crime as you are trying to incite people to violence here with this uh, with this crime of a white person on a black person? You know, that's a good question. I'm glad you said that. There is not another black activist in America that has turned in more black men for committing crimes against other black men than Quanell X. I've led more Stop the Killing rallies. In fact, two years ago, I had a Stop the Killing summit for three days in the Houston's Fifth Ward, focusing on the issue of young black men killing other young black men. My entire career, I focused on black on black crime. And so no one has taken more murderers off the street who have killed other black people than Juan L. X. Well, where's, so but where's, where's the bounty? Action. Where's the bounty on the heads of the, uh, like the, the 49 people that were shot in Chicago, five killed in a baby? Where's the bounty on those people they haven't brought those people to justice yet either and you know what matt that's a very excellent question because i told you earlier when you and i debated this issue it doesn't make any sense to put a bounty on mr zimmerman's head when we're not putting bounties on the heads of other black men killing other black people we've had cases where black men have killed men women and children and babies and there was no bounty put on their head and that's why when we saw the bounty had had come out we made moves to make sure that those flyers were cease and desist and we made sure that the brother who put those flyers out was corrected and dealt with and that's what we did because i had a distaste in my mouth and in my mind for putting out a bounty on mr zimmerman when the system has not come back and said okay we're going to let him go i understand the spirit and the emotions involved but we must be consistent if we're going to put bounties on people for crime all right chris uh, when we come it doesn't make sense to put a bounty on anybody's head Great. And Chris, I, I, let me come back in just a second, get to you and, and find out what the legal ramifications of that could be, including the tweeting that's been going on, uh, Spike Lee and Roseanne Barr. Chris, let me start with you. What are the legal ramifications? Uh, should somebody actually find George Zimmerman, grab him, hold him against his will? Well, I mean, in, in Texas, I can't speak for the law of Florida, but in, in Texas, this bounty would be unlawful, especially if somebody acts on it. 
that the people who put the bounty up could be charged if they kill him. They could be charged as as a party to the murder, in my view, for putting that bounty up and inciting this to, this action to take place. If they shoot him and hurt him, they could be a party to the to the aggravated assault, or if they just hold him to the kidnapping. The federal government, I think, could also look at this as a conspiracy to commit a civil rights violation. This is just a horribly bad idea. And if you think about it, Matt, today. We're not talking about Trayvon Martin getting killed. We're talking about the legality of the new Black Panthers putting out this bounty, and we've forgotten about Trayvon Martin. Whatever they intended to do, this couldn't have been the, what they wanted. All right, Quanell, uh, are, are you willing to right now tell the uh, the black population of Houston to stand down and to not commit any violence until this thing is worked out through the justice system? I am absolutely encouraging every brother and sister to disregard any talk of a bounty, as I already have early in the week. Secondly, I'm encouraging brothers and sisters to let's wait and see what the system does. Let's wait and see what the system puts in place when call, in regards to George Zimmerman. Let's not rush to judgment until the system comes back. But I also want to say to the brothers and sisters, I understand your hurt and your pain. And I understand that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired waiting on the justice system to give justice when we often don't receive it, but don't take it into your own hands. Very good, gentlemen. I want to thank you both for your time.